All right, this is introduction to 3D space. Uh, when I first started using Blender, it took me um, quite a while to get acclimated to the environment, and that's what this tutorial is designed to do. If you look down in the bottom of your screen here, you'll see this uh, menu area here. Go to the uh, little button up here with the uh, three arrows on it. Click that. You'll see object and links, animation settings, draw and constraints. Under the draw tab, you'll see draw extra and click the axis button and you should see some letters pop up in, on the screen. I'm going to take my mouse and pointer and put it over the 3D area here and I hit control up arrow and it brings it to full screen. If by chance your screen doesn't look like this, hit control up arrow again. If your mouse, whatever area your mouse is over, uh, like if I put it down here and I hit control up arrow, makes my toolbar fill up the whole screen. So I'm going to hit control arrow again, keep my mouse over the 3D area, and hit control up arrow again, and now we are in full screen mode. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm zooming in by using my middle uh, scroll wheel on my mouse. If you don't have a scroll wheel with that you can press down, uh, then you need a mouse with three mouse buttons. Uh, if it has a scroll wheel in the middle, nowadays most of them you can press them down. If, if you can, then you're good to go. If you can't, then you need to get another mouse. So here we see we have a Y, and here we have an X. What we're going to do first is figure out what view we are in. We're going to go down here to view, and if we look we see that top is checked. So we're actually looking at this from the top. I want to look at it from the front, so I'm going to go view and then front and now we're looking at this from the front put your mouse in the middle of your screen all the way to the right and click down your middle mouse button and then just slowly drag it to the left and you will see that this is a cube that we're looking at here go to view front now we're in front view again as you see there's a Z here that Z corresponds to the Z axis we're looking at here up and down and the X on the red corresponds to the X axis left and right now since we're looking at this from the front this is indeed the top this is the bottom this is the right and this is the left now I'm gonna zoom out a little bit till I can see my lamp and my camera so the black circle here is a lamp if I right click it I can select it that's how you select things in Blender by right clicking them. Here's our camera. You can right click that and select it. I'm going to select my cube again. Now I'm going to hit G. G stands for grab and it gives me the ability to move this wherever I feel arbitrarily. Now if you look down here in the bottom screen you'll see DX and DZ are moving and DY is staying at zero. I'll show you why that is but notice the DX and the DZ are moving. Now if I just want to go start here in the middle, stay as close to the middle as I can, and just go up, you'll see that the Z is changing. One, two, three, four. If we go down, we'll see that it's negative one, two, three, four, just like a graph in math class. If you go to the left, you'll see that X is going negative one, two, three, four. Go to the right, you'll see X is going one, two, three, four. I'm going to hit escape and escape will drop the box back where uh, you picked it up from and now I want to go to top view so we're going to go to view top now we see that Y is on the top again and X is on the uh, in the middle going left and right now even though this looks like it's going up and down, you have to remember that you're looking at this cube from the top. So this is actually the back, the top of the screen, and the bottom of the screen is the front. The uh, X is right and Y is left. When we look at it from front view, we are looking at it from this side. We'll go view, front view. Now when we look at top view, we're actually looking at it from up here. We're going to go back into top view, and if I hit G, I grab it, you'll see that if I move it left or right, it still affects the x-axis, and if you go up or down, now it's affecting the y-axis. I'm going to hit escape. 
Now quite frequently you're going to want to move an item but only move it on one axis and that's very simple. You press G for grab and then the letter corresponding to the axis which will be X, Y, or Z. I'm going to click the letter X and you see it stays on the X axis and if we look down there at the bottom toolbar we'll see that it's moving along global X. Without pressing anything else I can hit the Y key and now I'm moving along the Y axis. If I hit Z you'll notice that you don't see any change. There are several reasons for that. I'm not going to get into them. If you want to uh, right now see move it along the Z axis we want to go to view, front view and now hit G, Z and you see we are moving it up and down on that axis. I'm going to hit escape. Now I'm going to keep my mouse button in the or put my mouse pointer in the middle of the screen on the right click down my middle mouse button and I'm going to move this cube until I can see all of the axis and see Z, X, and Y. Now if you hit G and Y you'll see that we're going forwards and backwards. Hit escape G, X, left and right, escape and G, Z, up and down. It's very important to know what is up, what is down uh, when you're building things in 3D because there are many times where you're going to want to attach objects to each other you're going to want to do certain things that require that your axis be correct so you always want to keep that in mind now as you see I'm just spinning this around using my metal mouse button let's go to front view if I hit G and Z I can move it up now if I click my left mouse button I've released it in the location that I set it in if I hit G X and bring it across hit le my left mouse button hit G Z bring it down left mouse button let's go to side view now side view gives us the Y is left and right and the Z is up and down and of course we're looking along the X axis so that's why we see this little red dot here in the center if we hit GY left mouse button now we've moved it let's go into view top view zoom out a little bit and we see that our cube is now here